What's up, everyone? It's Matt. Happy Thursday. Holy crap, a bunch of news just dropped today. When it rains, it pours. So as you know, Bungie flew out a bunch of YouTubers and game media out to check out the patrol on the European Dead Zone, the EDZ, and some of them leaked it last night. David actually did a video yesterday. It was taken down. He fixed it. It was under embargo. We didn't use any footage from it, but just talking about EDZ was under embargo until today. And the crazy part is, is from all these EDZ previews and videos, some things were not supposed to get out and they did anyway. And the biggest one that got out is third subclasses confirmed. Let's get into it right now. So Polygon, of course, was the one that did it. If it was gonna be any gaming media site that fucks up, it was gonna be Polygon. Did you guys see their Doom gameplay? Oh my God. Anyways, yeah, so what happens in this video is you actually see a little icon come up that says Fractured Arrow, which is like a hunter relic, which means Night Stalker, then Game Informer fucked up, and they show that when you open this chest right here, Cracked Talesman, which is pretty much confirmed Stormcaller, aka Palpatine, is in the game, which means that probably the Titan's gonna get hammers. We didn't find any evidence of that, but this is a pretty good indication. Bungie has been keeping very mum about the third subclasses, whether or not we're gonna get Night Stalker, Stormcaller, and Sunbreaker, but we are, so that's good news. And that also makes the Hunter relevant as a support class. As you know, the bow helps, you know, increase damage to bosses when you shoot them. That's gonna help out a lot in strikes and raids and other things, basically making the Hunter relevant again for groups. We also saw an exotic, the Graviton Lance, which we saw in the launch trailer. It's a pulse rifle and it has two perks. Third shot in the burst does high damage, that's called black hole, and kills with this weapon cause the enemy targets to detonate, which is what we saw again in the launch trailer. So speaking about our sniper buddy, Devrin Cade, each planet, Titan, Nessa, Earth, aka the EDC, and Io will have an NPC that basically you can get world rep from. You can feed into it, just like you did with factions in Destiny 1, which will get you new items and better ranking with these guys. Devrin Cade, he's in a spot called the Trust Land, which is right next to one of the landing zones. So you land next to him, and then you can go exchange things for weapons and stuff. We know that when you first get to these planets, you can go find these NPCs, and you basically do one mission with them, which unlocks them and then you could put rep into them and buy weapons from them, just like you did basically on the tower. So each planet has their own individual NBC character that has not only a mission for you and quests, but also you, you can get items from him by feeding him rep. So what do you trade in for rep? Okay, there's two things. EDZ tokens, which you get pretty much from doing any type of events in the area. So like public events or little missions or troll kind of things, you can get those and turn them in. Or dusk light shards are kind of like helium fragments or stuff that you find in the environment. You will pick them up and basically farm them. We do not know yet if vendors at the farm will sell this stuff. In year three of Destiny 1, it got rid of pretty much all the farming you can exchange for these items. Like if you needed you know, relic iron or helium fragments, you can exchange vanguard marks to get that stuff. You didn't have to farm. But in Destiny 2, we don't know if you have to farm this item to get it. At dusk like shards are material, EDZ are like in chests and public events. And again, each different planet will have its own different type of currency that you will feed into the NPC there to get reputation. So next up is upgrading your character. So in this gameplay, you actually see when you level up, you get an upgrade point. Like we don't exactly know what this is gonna be used for, but interesting enough, there's another thing called milestones. Milestones track basically different things you do, and it shows on the top, if you look at the top of this, it says, new subclass. So maybe these ability points let you go further than the kind of like set subclasses that Destiny 2, Beta, and what we've seen so far. Maybe there's even more different types of subclasses past the end game. We're not sure, this is all speculation, but it would be cool to see other things like a deeper subclass system that you could do weird builds. So David talked about this a bit in his video, but the next thing up is regional chests. They're like the gold chests in Destiny 1. They're basically chests that once you get them, they're done, they're marked 
blocked off and it shows a little X on your map. Another interesting thing from the video is shaders drop in packs of three and it's the same shader, meaning that maybe shaders are one-time use. You can only use them on one item. So unlike Destiny 1 where you get a shader, you always have it. These are like something that you can apply to your gun or part of your armor, etc. So you basically can use that and attach it. Whether or not you can take it off again, we don't know, but it, I doubt it. I think it's gonna be something like you apply it and then it's like chroma and then it's on and then you have to get it again to put it on something else. So yeah, that's pretty much all I saw that I thought was really interesting. There's of course a ton of previews out there. Go check out the Game Informer one, the IGN one, the Polygon one, and just all the other Destiny YouTubers out there making excellent content and trying to get you guys this stuff. As always, we at the farm, we're a small, just starting out production. It's just me and David. Uh, we're not gonna be as fast as the bigger guys, but we're always gonna bring our own points of view and flavor to it. We're learning and Please, you know, hit like, hit subscribe if you thought this video or any of our videos were useful to you and leave a comment and let us know what you want to see on the channel or what you liked about this video, what you didn't like. Constructive feedback is good instead of just saying you suck. Thanks so much for listening. Follow us on Twitter and we'll see you soon.